Hello, today I'm going to show you the basics of operating the audio mixer. The audio mixer is a device that allows us to properly record and playback sounds associated with a production. Audio mixers are used in many areas like radio and TV studios, music production facilities, even by disc jockeys at parties. Audio mixers come in many different styles, from mixers with only two channels, to mixers with 64, 128, or even more channels. You need a mixer whenever you have a need to blend multiple audio sources. An audio source is anything that creates a sound for your production. Some sources include microphones, synthesizers, computers, video playback, or instruments that are able to connect directly to the mixer. For example, a music group that is recording a song will use a keyboard connected to the mixer on one channel, microphones for the drums connected through microphone jacks, vocals through microphones, maybe even a computer for other sounds. Each channel is individually set so all of the sources are blended in a way that they can all be heard. This is called mixing. The audio mixer is divided into channels. Each channel corresponds to a single input. Each channel also has a fader. The fader on the individual channels allows the user to adjust the input level of the source. Each source will probably have a different input level depending on the type of source that it is. The mute button will turn off the outgoing signal on the channel that is being used. The solo button will turn off all of the signals going through the mixer except the channel the solo button is selected on. So how do you know if the levels are correct? The answer is called meters. The meters on most modern mixers are LEDs. There are still many mixers around that use a bouncing needle to show levels. The LEDs blink depending on the level of the sound that they are monitoring. The highest point that the meters show the levels are called the peak. Next to the meters, you'll see numbers ranging from a negative to a positive range. This is a measurement of decibels, or dBs. A dB is a measure of the loudness of the sound. A lower signal, which signifies a quieter source, will peak lower on the meter. A louder source will peak the LEDs higher. The optimal level for a TV program is peaking at minus 6 dB. If your sound is too loud, it may break up and not sound clear. This is called distortion. To prevent distortion, make sure the levels are peaking below 0 dB. Once you have set your input levels, you need to check your output levels. The output levels represent the completely mixed set of all sources that are being sent out of the mixer. If your output levels are set correctly, but you can't hear certain sources, you will need to adjust the input levels of the mixer. The monitor is the part of the mixer that allows us to hear our mix. Think of the monitors as the speakers on your stereo. Monitors don't affect the output of the program, they only allow you to listen to it. That is your introduction to the audio mixer. In this lesson we covered audio mixers, audio sources, mixing, channels, input level, mute, solo, mirrors, dBs and decibels, distortion, output levels, and monitors. Thanks for watching.